Collisions with Unreal C++ can be quite a tricky thing to get your head around sometimes. And it's also going to introduce a new topic, which is dynamic delegates. It's something new for us to consider when calling functions like on begin overlap in Unreal C++. So just to show you by the end of this, what we should expect to see is something like what we have running in the background, where we're going to be able to walk onto an interactive class. Uh, and we're going to class that as the interaction pressed function call. So we're going to be able to essentially pick things up by walking over them. First of all, before we go into this in C++, what I wanted to do is quickly prototype the logic out in blueprints, because this is going to allow us to see a few issues with things like the collision channels, which in itself can be quite tricky and unreal. And this will allow us to quickly bypass those issues so that we know if we encounter a problem in the C++ side of things, we can at least discount that we've fixed the overlap channels and things like that. So to begin with, let's go to our character class. And what I want to do is use the mesh components that we've already created. And whenever this overlaps with something, we want to call the onInteract function with whatever it has overlapped. So if we go down to the collision section, first of all, I can already see actually that we have an issue here, which is this is set to block all. And we want to do this on overlap so we can walk on top of it, not be blocked by it, uh, and pick it up that way. Now, of course, the capsule component is a pawn and that already has everything blocking all, so we probably should have changed this anyway. So if we change this to overlap all, we can leave that as it is. Make sure that you have the generate overlap events ticked. And then if we go down to the on component begin overlap, add a call to this. And this is really simple. All we're gonna do is whatever we overlap with the other actor, we're gonna call the on interact function. Just to keep things uh, tidy and safe, we're gonna make sure that we had the reference to the caller, so that is self. And that is pretty much the logic done for the character side of things. Now, if we go in and press play, I don't think this is going to work. I think we've got the interactable object set up incorrectly to allow this. So we can see two problems here. Uh, the first one is that it doesn't get picked up. And the second is the spring arm component is doing a collision check. So it's doing our collision test here. So if we turn that off, hit compile again, this should stop the camera from trying to adjust to avoid things and we can now walk through it and we don't get that really weird close up. So the next thing is we're gonna go into the interactable class and what we want to do is just check the collision channels here. So we've got this set to ignore everything. So if we change this quickly, I think the fastest way is just to change this to overlap all, set this back to custom and then make sure that we're blocking the uh, visibility in camera so that we can still do our traces. So we can see we're still focusing and ending focus if we wanted to keep using that. But now when we walk over it, the uh, oninteract function is being called. And of course, that's removing the interactable object from the level. So that's what we're going to try and have by the end of this video in C++ as well. But doing it this way, like I said, the main thing, this is how I'd approach things in a normal project, is we now know that we've set all of the collision correctly. Uh, if you're doing this in C++ and you forgot about that type of thing, uh, you may have started debugging things thinking that you had uh, declared something incorrectly or spelt things incorrectly, things like that. Uh, whereas in Blueprints, it's very straightforward. We knew that was going to work straight away. Uh, so the main thing was just that we didn't have the collision set correctly. So the main thing before we move on is I'm just going to come back into the character. We'll unhook this so that we can compi compile and save this. We know this isn't working again. So now any results that we expect to see will be from the C++ side of things. So if we open up the player class, we can do this from the, or the character class, we can do this here. There are a few things that we need to consider with overlap events or collision events in general with C++, and I'll kind of go into more details of those as we go through. First thing we want to do though is add our custom event, which I'm just going to put in the protected section. Um, and this actually has a really long signature. So that's one thing I wanted to mention is I'm not gonna type this out by hand, but I will explain what it's doing. What I would recommend doing though is I'll provide a link to the documentation here. This is going to be the quickest way to set this up. And this will be the same for anything that you use. I'd always recommend this approach. Get some up-to-date documentation, whether it be for the begin overlap, the end overlap, the on hit, things like that. Uh, just because the signature, like I said, is really, really long. But by copying this, we can make sure that we have all of the right things included because we will be overriding the base on begin overlap function or on component begin overlap here is what we're going to be overriding. Uh, and it does have a call to all of these things. So we need to make sure that they're included in the custom event that we make. Now, what I'd say is come to this page. Like I said, I'll add this into the description or just Google on component begin overlap. And it should be one of the first results that you get. Now copy everything, including the function name here, and then all of the parameters included. 
if we control C that, uh, copy this, and then paste this back in to our Visual Studio class here. So this is gonna be in the header. This is a new function. After the Boolean, I'm just going to come in and I'll drop that down a line. And above this, I'm just going to add a U function. Because we're overriding an existing function, this will need to be a U function, or you will have errors when you compile. In fact, I don't think it's an error. It probably happens in the background, but it just, it won't work, uh, but it also won't tell you. So just be sure that you add, you include this. So we've got our on overlap begin function. We need to make sure we close this off with the semicolons and then this back a, a line again. And if you have the functionality in your code editor, it's going to do a quick creation of the definition, but it's the same as always. If you don't have this, just make sure, make a copy of everything you have here, uh, minus the semicolon, and then close it off in the code file with the curly braces. So we can go over to this, and this is where we're gonna be doing the main bulk of our logic. Uh, now, before we can do this though, like I said, we need to look at delegate. So what we want to do is get the mesh component, find the on component begin overlap function that it already has knowledge of inside of that, that class or that component. And we're gonna add a delegate call to that. So whenever that gets triggered, our custom on begin overlap is called instead. So the way that we can do this, and another point to note here, uh, like I said, a lot of interesting things with Unreal Collision uh, in C++, is a lot of documentation will say that you can put this delegate call in the constructor. Now, for whatever reason, sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. And I'm gonna show you that the approach of it not working first of all, and then how we can quickly fix. So just under the previous area where we've uh, defined our mesh component, I'm gonna get another reference to the mesh component. We're gonna find the function, which is the on component begin overlap. And we're gonna add a dynamic call to this. So this is the delegate call. It will say that this doesn't exist, but that's fine. It's just IntelliSense not working properly again for Unreal. Uh, unless you have something like a paid plugin, then you probably will get the same error, but that's fine. And there's only two parameters we have here, which is the user object, which is this, and the name of the function that we want to assign to this call. So the name of that function is gonna be the one within the class that we have here. So again, it's gonna be a reference to our class. So uh, ampersand a y t character base. And then the function is our on begin overlap. And remember, that's the one that we've just created, uh, or sorry, it's on overlap begin, which is what we've just created or copied from that documentation. With that done, we can close that off, and that is the delegate assigned. Now, ideally, that should work, but like I said, because we're doing it in the constructor, which is for some reason where the documentation recommends doing it, uh, this probably won't work. Nine times out of 10, I found that this just doesn't work, although everything's set up correctly, which is why I wanted to, again, emphasize doing this in Blueprint first. So we know that the setup's correct, we know the collision's correct, um, everything's fine, and if we don't get any compile errors, which is what I'm gonna do now, we should know this is all set up correctly as well. Um, I've got a feeling this probably won't work, and I'll show you the quick fix to that afterwards. Okay, so I just got an error from the on overlap begin saying that it needed, it was easier to debug this in the editor. It's just saying it needs to be a U class struct or UEnum. Uh, and I think all this is, is that I forgot to add the void. So I didn't actually make this a function. So if we just say void on overlap begin, we can hit compile. Sometimes you forget things. I just wanted to include that in case you're following along exactly. Uh, and again, didn't type the void either then we'll know that that's what the issue was there. And saying that, I've just realized as well, if we go back to the code class, we haven't actually added the code for the interact function or the overlap function. So again, I'm gonna drop down um, this down a line just so that we can see things properly. And what we want to do, we already have most of the functionality here, in fact. We can go back up to our interact pressed, and what we want to do is get all of the logic inside of that if statement. So the one thing we're not gonna have this time is the focused actor necessarily. So we're going to change some of that logic, but most of this will work if we just paste this in here. So like I said, we won't guarantee we have a focused actor. We might not be looking at it, but we might still stand on it. But what we will have is the reference to the other actor that we're colliding with or overlapping. So if we copy other actor and we'll just replace focused actor with other actor here. So it's the same logic. We're going to try and get an interface on the other actor that we're colliding with. If it has the interface, then we're going to call the on interact function within. Uh, now this is taking a while to compile. I've actually added that function whilst this is still going in the background. But as soon as this is finished compiling, the simple change I made to add void ahead of this, I'm gonna recompile again. And this should work if the constructor uh, delegate uh, logic has worked here. If not, then like I said, we're gonna do a very quick fix and we'll get this working a different way. Okay, and just another quick fix here that we've got another compiler error. Uh, it was simply that because we created a, or because I used the shortcut to create this, it also didn't add the void at the beginning of our on overlap begin in the code file. So I'm just going to change that. 
and recompile again. And another thing is I, I've actually dropped the code down from the bool this time. I had it from the int, so I'd done that previously. Uh, but just to match the header file where I dropped it from the bool, I've done the same here. So if it looks a little bit different, that's that's the only reason why. Okay, so we have our build successful down here. So I'm just going to go back to the engine, see if this works. Do a quick compile in here, won't take a second, just to make sure everything has definitely gone through. Uh, but like, like I said, there's a 90% chance this will not work. But I'm just giving it all of the benefit of the doubt that I can. So if we press play, we're going to come in. What we should expect happens, we walk over this and it will disappear. And we can see that it stays. So here we go. This is another example of C++ overlaps not doing quite what they're meant to. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in to the code. Uh, now we've previously removed the begin play. And it seems to just be maybe a timing thing. Like I said, I've never fully quite worked out why this is happening. But what we can do is if we come back into the header file, we're going to add our begin uh, begin play function again. So then we need to implement this. So we're just going to, again, quickly add our definition. And in here, because this is, of course, being overridden, we're going to want to call our super function as well, just to make sure all of that is correct. And finally, if we go back over to the code file, this is for some reason all you need to do is we're going to take our uh, delegate call and we're going to place this into the begin play instead. Now, of course, all that's happening is in the construction script, this is fired first. We're creating the mesh, which is important that we have all of this and the reference to it. Uh, and then the next thing is going to be called is the begin play. So it seems that just adding a little bit of time between these maybe seems to help. But that is the only change I'm going to make. I'm going to compile this and then we'll see if this works. OK, so once again, always just like to confirm that has gone through successfully. So I'm going to head back to the engine, press play again. We don't even need to compile this time, to be honest. And there we go. Uh, that, that worked. So none of the logic changed. The delegate was called exactly the same way. Um, but for some reason, sometimes doing it on the, I say sometimes, most of the time doing it on construction script doesn't seem to work. Moving it into the begin play, just to confirm, still not using the blueprint version. We can get rid of that altogether. So all of that is completely from C++ now. That is how you add uh, events for overlaps, collision, uh, hit events and everything like that in C++ with a delegate. So you just create your own function to replace it first of all using the correct uh, parameters in the signature there. Again, very easy to get from the documentation. And on begin player, I'd recommend doing this. You just set up the delegate here, call your function over the base function whenever that happens. And you just put your logic in there as we have here as usual. So hopefully that's been useful. Again, probably a little bit longer than it needed to be, but I do like to just make sure that we cover the oddities that you find sometimes. Um, I could have just very quickly, obviously, done that straight in the begin play to begin with, but a lot of the documentation doesn't mention that issue, maybe not aware of it. And a lot of examples you see on forums and things will always tell you to just throw that in the construction script and it will work fine, which can lead you down a path for hours trying to work out what the issue is since you've got valid answers which still don't work. That's the fix. Just put it in the event begin play. Seems to work fine. And now we have interaction based on the collision as well as based on the uh, focus and the the button pressing. So I'm going to leave this video here for today. As always, if you've enjoyed the video or found it useful, please do leave a like and share the video around. That always helps. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with any of the content coming from any of the playlists on the channel. And as ever, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.